This is the Jan evening. good evening. This is the January 22nd, 2020 meeting of the Planning Board. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, members of the Planning Board. The Planning Department would like to recommend the following items be recessed because the applicants are not ready to be heard at this time. Under zoning petitions, number one, 2012-04, Storybook Homes, West Consett. Number two, 2012-02, Carlson Associates, Kings Park. Number three, 2010-06, KBC Holdings. <laughs> and under waiver requests for uh, number 773, Scholar States and Comac. Is there anyone here who wishes to be heard in any of the matters that were recommended to be recessed? Okay. I move that we recess items one through four as read. Second. Sec I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So recessed. The first item under new hearings and decisions is an extension of conditional final approval for number 1177, map of South Avenue Land Division. The applicant requests an extension of conditional final approval for the subdivision number 1177, map of South Avenue Land Division. The subdivision application number 1177, map of South Avenue Land Division received conditional final approval for a two lot subdivision on July 17th, 2019. This approval was valid for a period of 180 days that expired on January 13th, 2020. The applicant submitted the request for an extension on December 31st, 2019. Planning Department has no objection to the request and recommends an extension period of 180 days. The Planning Department offers the following resolution for the Board's consideration. Planning Board Resolution Number Blank 2020, Extension of Conditional Final Approval for Number 1177, Map of South Avenue Land Division, whereas the Planning Board has considered the request of Vincent J. Tremarco to extend the conditional final approval for the subdivision number 1177, Map of South Avenue Land Division, now, therefore, be it first resolved that the Planning Board hereby approves a 180-day extension of time to the conditional final approval for the subdivision number 1177, map of South Avenue Land Division, to expire on July 11, 2020. Good evening, Madam Chairman, members of the Board. My name is Vincent Tremarco. I represent the applicant. I've submitted the affidavit of posting along with a, a picture uh, to uh, Mr. Collado. Um, uh, we concur with the recommendation of the planning department and ask for your favorable approval of the extension. And I also want to say congratulations, Madam Chairman, on your appointment as chairwoman. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone here who wishes to be heard on this matter? Anyone on the board have any questions? Seeing none, in the matter of number 1177, Map of South Avenue Land Division, I move that we close the public hearing. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The hearing is closed. And in the matter of number 1177, Map of South Avenue Land Division, I move that we adopt the resolution as read in accordance with the recommendation of the Planning Department. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion adopted. Thank you. The next item is a final subdivision, number 1171, Map of Fiorillo subdivision. The applicant requests final approval to reconfigure and legalize two residential lots and a vacant undersized lot into three single family residential lots. The subdivision number 1171, map of Fiorillo Platt, received preliminary approval on October 18th, 2017. The planning board also adopted a secret negative declaration on the application. The applicant filed the final application on September 27th, 2019. The subdivision is comprised of three tax lots totaling 1.05 acres. The site is zoned R10 and is surrounded by R10 zoning and single family dwellings. 
The subdivision has frontage on 6th Street and 7th Avenue. There are two existing homes on Lot 1 and 3. The applicant is proposing to construct a home on Lot 2. The topography of the site is relatively flat, ranging from 143 feet above sea level to 145 feet above sea level. The site contains no steep slopes, no high groundwater, and no wetlands or natural surface water features. The applicant is requesting the following variances in connection with this subdivision. Lot 1, reduce minimum side yard setback from 12 feet to 10 feet, existing attached garage. Reduce minimum rear yard setback from 50 feet to 43 feet for existing attached garage. On Lot 2, reduce minimum lot area from 10,000 square feet to 9,199 square feet. Reduce minimum front yard setback from 40 feet to 30 feet. The maximum number of lots that could be developed in full conformance with the zoning ordinance and subdivision regulations is three. Therefore, pursuant to section 322, 30.4 of the zoning ordinance, the planning board has the authority to grant the proposed variances. The planning department recommends approval of the variances for the following reasons. One, an undesirable change will not be produced in the character of the neighborhood. The construction of the new home on lot two will match the character of the other homes fronting 6th Avenue. Two, the existing garage on lot one will only impact the homes within the subdivision and not the other homes in the surrounding neighborhood. The impact of the homes within the subdivision is minimal. Three, the front yard setback on lot two will not produce an undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood. In fact, the house will be set back approximately 44 feet from the curb, which matches the character of the other homes fronting 6th Avenue. Four, the subdivision previously received conditional final plat approval three times under the name of number 781, map of Lammer lot plat in 1988, 1992, and 1997. However, the applicant never satisfied the conditions of approval and therefore could not file the map. All three approvals had very similar, similar layouts to the one being proposed in this application. The engineering, highway, and traffic safety departments have reviewed the final subdivision application and have found it acceptable. The planning department has reviewed the final application and has found it acceptable, subject to the following comments. One, add all required information to the title block listed in section 24811C of the subdivision regulations. Two, label the key map as key map and add the zoning districts to the key map. Sixth Avenue and Seventh Street are identified as residential access streets. There are no sidewalks on Sixth Avenue or Seventh Street and it is unlikely that sidewalks will be constructed on these roads due to the low traffic volume. The Planning Department recommends the board waive the requirements of sidewalks on 6th Avenue and 7th Street within the subdivision. Section 248.24 of the subdivision regulations states that each subdivision is required to show a park area of at least two acres per 100 buildings. However, the Court of Appeals has ruled that the town cannot require the reservation of park area unless the planning board determines on a case-by-case -case basis that a need for parkland exists with respect to the individual subdivision. Based on the community facility study in the town's comprehensive plan, there is a need for parkland in the neighborhood in which this subdivision is situated. This subdivision's share of meeting the need is approximately 0 0.006 acres. In cases where the planning board determines that a suitable park cannot be located or is otherwise not practical, the subdivider is required to pay a cash equivalent prior to filing the map. Given the location and small size of the subdivision, a dedication for park space would not be practical. Practical, Therefore, the payment of an equivalent park fee established at $3,000 is recommended as a condition of final plan approval. Additional information. One, letters assuring availability of utility service have been received from the St. James Water District and PSENG Long Island. Two, the Smithtown Central School District has acknowledged the subdivision. Three, the amount of the inspection fees estimated at $216. Four, the amount of the park fees estimated at $3,000. Five, the amount of the performance bond is estimated at $2,700. Six, the amount of the cash deposit is $1,500. Seven, the amount of the performance bond to be posted is $1,200. The planning department offers the following resolutions for the board's consideration. Planning board resolution number blank 2020. Final plat variance for number 1171, map of Fiorillo plat. Whereas the planning board has considered the request, I believe it's map of Fiorillo subdivision. Whereas the planning board has considered the request of Ralph Fiorillo for the following variances within the subdivision number 1171, map of Fiorillo subdivision, pursuant to section 322 30.4 of the building zone ordinance of the code of the town of Smithtown. Now, therefore, be it first resolved that the planning board hereby grants variances from the building zone ordinance of the code of the town of Smithtown. Within subdivision for number 1171, map of Fiorillo subdivision as follows. Uh, below is the table 
um, which shows the modification of dimensional requirements. This table shall be shown on the final map to be filed by the Office of the Suffolk County Clerk. A fee of $2,000 is required for these variances. Planning Board Board Resolution Number Blank 2020, Subdivision Final Approval for Number 1171. Um, map of Firillo subdivision, whereas the planning board has considered the request of Ralph Firillo to subdivide 1.05 acres into three lots. Now, therefore, be it first resolved that the final plat of number 1171, map of Firillo subdivision, is hereby approved subject to the following conditions. A, posting of a performance bond in the form and amount specified by a separate resolution of the planning board and for a term of two years. B, posting of a general liability insurance policy to run concurrently with the term of the performance bond and in accordance with other provisions of section 248 of the code of the town of Smithtown subdivision regulations. Uh, C, payment of an inspection fee and cash deposit as established by a separate resolution of the planning board. D, all necessary dedication papers shall be submitted by the applicant to the planning department in complete and accurate form as one package, including but not limited to the performance bond liability insurance policy, title report, and all required fees. E, the final plat shall include all information required by section 248.15 and 248.16 of the town subdivision regulations, the conditions of approval in the office of the Suffolk County Clerk. A check print of the final plat shall be submitted to the planning department for review before the milers are prepared. F, payment of a park fee of $3,000. G, final approval of the drainage and regrading plans to the satisfaction of the town engineer. H, add all required information to the title block listed in two, section 248.11c of the subdivision regulations. I, label the key map as key map and add the zoning districts to the key map. Second, resolve that the chairman of the planning board is hereby authorized to sign the final plat, hereby approving said plat after the town board has accepted performance bond of satisfactory form and amount. Third, resolve that the conditional final approval of said plat shall expire 180 days after the date of this resolution and within 62 days after the chairman of the planning board signs the final map of this plat, unless said plat shall have been duly filed or recorded by the owner and the Suffolk County Clerk. And planning board resolution number blank 2020, author authorization to sign performance bond estimate for number 1171, map of Fiorillo subdivision, whereas the town departments of engineering, traffic safety, highway and planning have prepared a performance bond estimate to cover the cost of all required public improvements. Now therefore be it first resolved, that the chairman of the planning board is authorized to sign the performance, that should be ch chairwoman, excuse me, of the planning board is authorized to sign the performance bond estimate for number 1171, map of Fiorillo Platt in the amount of $2,700 and establish an inspection fee of $216 and a cash deposit of $1,500. Therefore, the amount of the performance bond to be posted with the town shall be $1,200. Is anyone here representing the applicant? Yes, yes. Could please state your name and address for the record. Uh, my name is Vincent Amicizia with the law firm of Gresham Ziegler and Amicizia PC. We're at 199 East Main Street in Smithtown, and I represent the applicant. And I do want to join my colleague, uh, Mr. Trimarco, in uh, congratulating you, Madam Chair, for your, uh, for your elevation to the position, and wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. We obviously rise in support of the uh, planning department's uh, recommendations, and we would ask that the court grant them. Court, sorry, old habit. <laughs> we ask that the board grant them. Sorry, Judge. <laughs> Thank you. Does the, court, does the board have any questions for me? No. Okay. Is there anyone here who would like to be heard on this matter? Anyone on the board have any questions? In the matter of number 1171, Map of Fiorello subdivision, I move that we close the public hearing. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing is closed. And on the uh, final um, plat variance, in the matter of number 1171, Map of Fiorello plat, I move that we approve the variances as listed in the table of modifications in accordance with the recommendation of the planning department. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion adopted. And now on the subdivision final approval in the matter of number 1171, map of Fiorello Platt, I move that we adopt the resolution as read in accordance with the recommendation of the planning department. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Motion adopted. 
and on the performance bond estimate in the matter of number 1171 map of Fiorella Platte, I move that we approve the performance bond estimate as recommended by the planning department. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Motion adopted. Thank you, you too. The next item on the agenda is a final subdivision, number 1182, map of Roseville Park, 1904. <clears throat> the applicant requests final approval to subdivide a 2.49 acre parcel into four single family residential lots. The subdivision number 1182, map of Roseville Park, 1904, received preliminary approval on October 17, 2018. The planning board also adopted a secret negative declaration on the application. The applicant filed the final application on October 2nd, 2019. The applicant has complied with the conditions of a preliminary approval. The subdivision fronts Lake Avenue, Roseville Avenue, and Anne Marie Drive in St. James. The subdivision is located in the R21 zoning district. The site is surrounded by R21 zoning and single family dwellings. There is a single family dwelling on lot two that is proposed to remain. The subdivision proposes one new dwelling to front Lake Avenue and two new dwellings to front Roseville Avenue. All of the lots conform to the requirements of the R21 zoning district. The topography of the site is flat and located approximately 135 feet above sea level. The site does not contain any high groundwater or natural surface water features. The engineering department has found the final application acceptable. Subject to the following comment, one concrete survey monument shall be installed to the extent possible where all property lines intersect the right-of-way or at any property line change in direction. A total of eight monuments are required. The Highway and Traffic Safety Departments have found the application acceptable. The Planning Department has reviewed the preliminary, has reviewed the final subdivision and has found it acceptable, subject to the following comments. One, no structure shall be permitted in the 50-foot front yard setback off Anne-Marie Drive on lot four, except for fences four feet or less in height. Two, access to all, access to lot four shall only be from Roseville Avenue and three, the dwelling on lot four shall front Roseville Avenue. Roseville Avenue is a residential access street. There are no sidewalks on Roseville Avenue and it is unlikely that sidewalks will be constructed on this road. The planning department recommends the board waive the requirements of sidewalks on Roseville Avenue. Lake Avenue has been identified as a road that needs sidewalks due to the high traffic volume. However, over the past few months, the town has constructed new sidewalks on the east side of Lake Avenue adjacent to the subdivision. Additionally, the town reconstructed the sidewalk and handicap ramps on the northwest corner of Lake Avenue and Roseville Avenue. The planning department recommends the board waive sidewalks on Lake Avenue within the subdivision. Section 248 of the subdivision regulation states that each subdivision is required to show a park area of at least two acres per 100 buildings. However, the Court of Appeals has ruled that the town cannot require the reservation of park area unless the planning board determines on a case-by-case -case basis that the need for parkland exists with respect to the individual subdivision. Based on the community facility study and the town comprehensive plan, there is a need for parkland in the neighborhood in which this subdivision is situated. This subdivision share of meeting the need is approximately 0.018 acres. In cases where the planning board determines that a suitable park cannot be located or is otherwise not practical, the subdivider is required to pay a cash equivalent prior to filing the map. Given the location and small size of the subdivision, a dedication for park space would not be practical. Therefore, a payment of an equivalent park fee established at $9,000 is recommended as a condition of final plat approval. Additional information. One, letters assuring availability of utility service have been received from the St. James Water District and PSCG Long Island. Two, the Smithtown Central School District has acknowledged this subdivision. Three, the amount of the inspection fee is estimated at $3,552. Four, the amount of the park fee is $9,000. Five, the amount of the performance bond is estimated at $44,395. Six, the amount of the cash deposit is $2,000. Seven, the amount of the performance bond to be posted is $42,395. Planning Department offers the following resolution for the board's consideration. Planning Board Resolution Number Blank 2020, Subdivision Final Approval for Number 1182, Map of Roosevelt Park, 1904. Whereas the Planning Board has considered the Request of trust under will of Lattice D. Custer, care of Roger Budd, to subdivide a 2.49 acre parcel into four single family residential lots. Now, therefore, be it first resolved that the final plat of number 1182, map of Roseville Park, <coughs> 1904, 
is hereby approved subject to the following conditions. A, posting of a performance bond in a form and amount specified by a separate resolution of the planning board and for a term of two years. B, posting of a general liability insurance policy to run concurrently with the term of the performance bond and in accordance with other provisions of Section 248 of the Code of the Town of Smithtown Subdivision Regulations. C, payment of an inspection fee and cash deposit as established by separate resolution of the planning board. D, all necessary dedication papers shall be submitted by the applicant to the planning department in complete and accurate form as one package, including but not limited to the performance bond, liability, insurance policy, title report, and all required fees. E, the final plat shall include all information required by section 248.15, 248.16 of the town subdivision regulations, the conditions of approval, and the office of the Suffolk County Clerk. A check print of the final plat shall be submitted to the planning department for review before the milers are prepared. F, payment of a park fee of $9,000. G, final approval of the drainage and regrading plans to the satisfaction of the town engineer. H, no structure shall be permitted within the 50-foot front yard setback off Anne Marie Drive on Lot 4, except for fences 4 feet in height or less. I, access to Lot 4 shall only be from Roseville Avenue. J, the house on Lot 4 shall front Roseville Avenue. K, conditions H, I, and J shall be noted in the filed map. L, concrete survey monument shall be installed to the extent possible where all property lines intersect the right of way or at any property line change in direction. A total of eight monuments are required. And M, prior to the commencement of construction activities at the subject parcel, including land clearing and other site preparation work, the applicant shall abide by the following conditions. One, all limits of clearing and any individual trees to be preserved within clearing areas must be marked with snow fencing or orange mesh construction fencing. Said fencing shall be located no closer to the trunk of any tree to be preserved than the drip line of said tree. This area to be preserved shall be indicated in the tree preservation and land clearing plan prepared by Michael James Hillebrand, licensed land surveyor dated September 19th, 2017. Two, upon completion of the installation of fencing as required above, the applicant shall provide written notice to the Department of Environment and Waterways requesting an inspection of the limits of clearing as marked in the field by the cited fencing. Three, the applicant shall not commence construction activities, including land clearing or other site preparation work, until the marked limits of clearing are approved in writing by the Environmental Protection Director. And four, the snow fencing or orange mesh construction fencing used to delineate the limits of clearing shall be maintained in place by the applicant until the completion of all land clearing and grading activities at the subject parcel. Second resolve that the chairwoman of the planning board is hereby authorized to sign the final plat, hereby approving said plat after the town board has accepted a performance bond of satisfactory form and amount. Third resolve that the conditional final approval of said plat shall expire 180 days after the date of this resolution and within 62 days after the chairman of the planning board signs the final map of this plat, unless said plat shall have been duly filed or recorded by the owner and the Suffolk County Clerk. Planning board resolution number blank 2020, authorization to, si to sign performance bond estimate number 1182, map of Roseville Park, 1904. Whereas the Town Departments of Engineering, Traffic, Safety, Highway, and Planning have prepared a performance bond estimate to cover the cost of all required public improvements. Now, therefore, be it first resolved that the Chairwoman of the Planning Board is authorized to sign the performance bond estimate for number 1182, map of Roseville Park, 1904, in the amount of $44,395, and establish an inspection fee of $3,552 and a cash deposit of $2,000. Therefore, the amount of the performance bond to be posted with the town shall be $42,395. Anyone here representing the applicant? Yeah, Terrence Quinn, 305 East Main Street, Smithtown, New York. Thank you. Congratulations, uh, you know, thank, thank you very you. much. Um, you know, I, I, Madam Chair, when we've, we've reviewed the uh, planning department's memo, we reviewed their proposed resolution, and we would, we would ask for a favorable uh, um, a decision in favor of the applicant. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone here who would like to be heard on this matter? None? In the matter of number 1182, Map of Roseville Park, 1904, I move that we close the public hearing. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The hearing is closed. And on the subdivision final approval, in the matter of number 1182, Map of Roseville Park, 1904, I move that we adopt the resolution as read in accordance with the recommendation of the planning department. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 
None. Motion adopted. And on the performance bond estimate, in the matter of number 1182, map of Roseville Park, 1904, I move that we approve the performance bond estimate as recommended by the planning department. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion adopted. I think we're good. Thank you. Um, we need a motion to adjourn. Public portion of the hearing. Does somebody want to speak? I think we think we're good, right? Did you motion? Did you adjourn? But yeah, we need a motion to adjourn. That's it. Motion to adjourn. Second. Wait, hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. You folks have a question? You got to come to the mic. Yeah. Did we ask if anybody Please state your name and address for the record, sir. Name is Stephen Wiener, W I E N E R, 54 Sandy Hollow Drive in Smithtown. Thank you. It, the next thing on the agenda I have says other matters, so I assume that would be uh, a time to talk. I. Oh, um, well. We can help you. I okay. Guess. Okay. We're actually, I don't want to miss out and not, and con and not congratulate you. So congratulations. <laughs> so, Thank you. Okay. I don't want to be the only one. <laughs> so, no. I, I have a concern and a question, and I don't know if if uh, you have the answers, but maybe maybe you do. My concern is what I've read in the uh, newspaper recently on uh, the uh, the building that now holds uh, Macy's and Comac being um, taken down. Is that tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah. tomorrow night. This is the this is just a planning board meeting. It's not the um, this isn't the venue for that a hearing that's going to be tomorrow night for the um, site. Okay. Oh, I, I, the BJ is not tomorrow. Um, it's next 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 Tuesday. It's the twenty uh, eighth. Somebody called said they were having next some Tuesday. sort of meeting about be that next tomorrow Tuesday, night somewhere. Next Tuesday night board? at the Board of Zoning Appeals. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's, a and there's a town board meeting tomorrow. And is that tomorrow evening? Town board meeting tomorrow night. I don't, there is a pending application before the Board of Zoning Appeals for the uh, BJs. Um, that, I know they had a hearing on it. Um, the next BZA meeting is the 28th of January. The 28th of January, is that, he, is that with you here, or? That's with a different board, it's in this building. It'll be in, here, and it'll be seven o'clock on Tuesday the 28th. 28th. And you were saying something, and what do you town think board. is tomorrow night? There's, if there's, I, there's a town board, board meeting, meeting tomorrow. tomorrow. It's gonna be discussed there That's also. gonna be discussed, and where's, and if I? That's at town hall. At town hall, also Correct. seven o'clock? Seven o'clock. Okay, you've answered a couple of my questions. There you go. <laughs> okay, yeah. thanks okay, for your help. I hope that helped. Thank okay. you. Okay, have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned.